This is Kessel from the Scrapbook Campus. In this video, we will look at how to run the VectorTube script that will be very useful in your graphic projects. Painter Pro has the option of using picture tubes, which are small images that can be placed on your project by a click of the mouse or by dragging the mouse as if you were drawing. Although you can place those tubes freehand, Sometimes you want to have them placed in a very regular or even manner and this is where the VectorTube script comes in. This is a free script that was created by Joe Fromm and Peter Ward. Once you have downloaded, unzipped and saved the script in your restricted scripts folder, you should see the VectorTube script appear in your script toolbar. This is the, the only installation you have to do. Now, the picture tubes can be applied using the script either on regular shapes like circles and rectangles, symmetric shapes, preset shapes, path created by the pen tool, or text, since text can also be a vector. So let's start and demonstrate how we can place those picture tubes along a vector path. I created here a heart using a preset shape and a path using the pen tool. So the first thing you want to do is choose your picture tube and test it for the size. So using a raster layer from your layer palette you can check the size of your tube. If you find it's too thick, you can undo, reduce the scale a bit, and test again. Once you're ready, you can undo that and go to your vector object, not the vector layer only, but the vector object has to be active, and you simply run the vector tube. It will create a stroked object in the shape of your vector path without touching that vector path. So now you can use this new element on its own. You don't even have to keep the vector. You can just copy and paste it as your new image if you want it. Let's do the same thing with the path that was created with the pen tool. Again, I'm just going to use the exact same tube and I will run the vector tube. Again, I see my rope created along the path. Again here, you can see it's a stroked object, so it's independent of your actual path, meaning if you wanted you could run the script again using the same path, but a different tube. However, you can also use a circle or a rectangle, which are the regular shapes, a symmetric shape, or text. However, if you want to use the vector tube script to place tubes along this path, there is one extra step you have to take. Although they are considered path because you could put text around as in text on path, you still have to modify them a little bit. So let's take our ellipse and you will go to object and here you have to convert it to path. Even though it seems to be a path, you still have to convert it. Because if you don't convert it into a path, and you activate your object, you run the script, you will get nothing. This is the frustrating part when you don't know about this little detail. So let's go to object, convert to path, and now run the script and that's it.
Let's do the same thing now with our symmetric shape. Again, we have to convert to path. And let's just change rope. Let's test the size. That's a good size. Going back to my vector object, I run the script and I have my rope. Let's now do the same thing with this letter B. So I just use a stroke and no fill, but in fact it doesn't matter whatever color you use for an outline or a stroke or whatever color you use for a fill. In fact, you could have a fill if you want it. It's just not needed for the script to run. So again, I go under Object and Convert to Path. And you run the script. And you have it. Of course, some tubes are going to be better for different jobs. Now, if you are wondering how to remember which ones you need to convert to path and which ones you don't have to, there are two ways. First, you can try running the script and if you get nothing, it's because you were supposed to convert it to path. The other will be, see if I take my heart again, if I go under object, convert to path is grayed out, so I don't need to convert to path. It's very simple. So now that you know how to use the vector tube, it's time to have fun with it and place all kinds of tubes along all kinds of vector paths. Enjoy!